The Biden administration has released two reports looking at salmon who make a perilous journey from Idaho to the ocean and back to spawn. On that journey, they have to cross eight dams each way. Congress has spent more than $15 billion trying to address the dwindling population of salmon, but so far nothing has worked. I'm outdoor reporter Steve Dent, and in this edition of Idaho Backroads, I talked with groups for and against breaching the dams. Four dams on the Lower Snake River in Washington continue to be the focus for salmon recovery, and the Biden administration just released two reports, with one concluding that breaching those dams will be necessary to bring the salmon back to Idaho. That's the most definitive statement we've ever seen uh, from federal agencies and the presidential administration. It's a big development in this issue. Salmon plays a vital role in Idaho, highlighted economically with anglers lining the banks near Riggins when the salmon run. Culturally, as a cornerstone of Native American heritage. See them boys in the river? You jab. And also recreationally. If dam removal is not part of the strategy, it won't work. And in order to save those salmon, we need to remove those dams and we need to do it pretty soon. The Idaho Farm Bureau opposes breaching the dams as Idaho farmers produce the fourth most wheat in the United States, with 50% of the grain exported to foreign markets using a barge system to take the wheat down the river. It makes that, that transportation uh, available. It makes it affordable in, in a way that they can provide the high quality wheat that is produced in our, uh, in our state. Uh, it can be sent around the world to the markets that, that are demanding it. Idaho has the U.S.'s most inland seaport in Lewiston, which would also suffer if the dams were breached. And every barge carries the equivalent of 35 rail cars or 134 truckloads estimated at about twice the cost. We recognize the value of these dams. We recognize the value of uh, a managed uh, river system. Um, and the dams and that infrastructure is, is a key part of all of that. Energy companies have also come out against breaching the dams. The second report the White House released says hydropower created by the dams could be replaced, but will cost anywhere from 11 to $19 billion. That's in line with what Washington state Democrats have found and Idaho Republican Congressman Mike Simpson, who took it one step further, coming up with $33 billion to breach the dams and help make everybody affected by that loss whole. You're seeing kind of a convergence of Congressman Simpson's proposal, uh, Governor Inslee from Washington and Senator Murray from Washington and now the Biden administration all lining up saying dam removal needs to be the cornerstone of our successful recovery plan and we can replace the services that these dams provide. But salmon recovery remains a complex issue with several factors contributing to fewer numbers. We don't know if breaching the dams will solve the problem, but nothing else has worked. And I can't promise everybody that this will restore salmon. I believe it will, but I can't promise that. What I can promise you is if you don't take those dams out, these runs in Idaho will go extinct. This year, actually more salmon have made the migration back to Idaho than in previous years, but the numbers still don't compare to historical figures. Ultimately, the decision to breach or not breach the dams will come down to Congress. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.